What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am of course CM Puma and wherever you may be, however you may be watching, thanks for making this video a part of your day. Now before we get too far into this video, I want to thank Tony Pizza Guy for allowing me to use this video of the 30 Man Royal Rumble that he posted up yesterday on his channel. Now we're not going to go through the whole video, we're just going to pick out a few things that I've noticed uh, while watching this video. So right away the first thing we see is Roderick Strong and Ty Dillinger in the ring. Now, when the next person comes in, we don't get a number, and we don't get the person's name. So we don't know if we have the commentary turned off. We don't know who's coming in until that person slides into the ring. In this case, it's Aiden English. Um, so we don't get the number. Now, and now I don't know if that's a setting that is turned on and off. Um, but in this particular video, we don't get the number that the person's coming in at, and we don't get their name. We just see the countdown right there once again. A couple other things I wanted to point out was the ring. So we've got the LEDs on the ring posts, and they are flashing royal in the Royal Rumble LED on the side of the ring. To me, that I mean that just looks fantastic. As uh, I want to say, that's Bushwhacker Luke comes in, and it. So as Aiden goes over the top, he is hanging. Roderick Strong just goes up and kind of hits him with an elbow, and he goes over. Now, a great addition, and I'm not, honestly, I'm not sure if this was in 2K17, but the ring announcer announces when that person is eliminated. So, I've got the volume turned down a little bit, but um, the ring announcer said Aiden English has been eliminated. So now, as the fourth person comes in, like I said, we're not going to go through this whole thing. Uh, just pointing out a couple of things that I've noticed. So, as uh, Baron Corbin comes sliding in, we saw Roderick Strong roll over to the edge of the ring now at first glance I thought he was just gonna roll out because you know you can go under the ring or under the bottom rope and technically still be in the Royal Rumble uh, Vince McMahon did it in like the 99 Royal Rumble and then whatever Rumble he ended up winning eliminating Stone Cold and Vince McMahon won there he slid out from under the bottom rope and scampered off to the backstage area so now Bushwhacker Luke is over there I, I, I'm again I'm not sure I didn't play the Royal Rumble too much in 2k17 as Daniel Bryan comes sliding in but you know they are rolling out of the way using that rolling system and that allows for more stuff to be going on in the ring I thought that was a great addition now Baron Corbin had um, whoever that was I missed it but he had him on the top rope and he was getting ready to throw him out now Bushwhacker Luke just comes over and helps he helps flip him over the top rope and eliminates eliminates that person four men in the ring now now a little bit later we will see eight men in the ring as uh, Booker T comes sliding in so Roderick Strong just used the carry system and drug Bushwhacker Luke over to the ropes now he got reversed before he could do anything with it but we're gonna, we're gonna see that a few times in this video and that uh, Ty Dillinger down there was the one who got eliminated so as we see Bushwhacker Luke kind of the same animations that we've had before with the corner uh, reversal or excuse me the corner uh, elimination but Roderick Strong is able to get out of it there now coming sliding in is the Godfather now that is seven men no, excuse me six men this was the this was the previous limit six men and uh, we're not going to get eight just yet as Booker T is eliminated by the Godfather and Daniel Bryan eliminated. Oh, I missed it again. Anyhow, uh, the, the like I said, the point is pointing out little things here and there. Now, as the next person slides in, we see those superstars wandering around outside the ring, just disappointed that they were eliminated. Um, that's a nice touch, I think, because no matter where they were eliminated, they kind of do that walk around thing and and um, just disappointment on their faces. Who is that? Oh, that was Roderick Strong. So, moving along here, um, we see Luke again, Bushwhacker Luke, rolling to the edge of the ring, which allows business as usual to go on inside the ring. That, to me, probably one of the more unsung features of the Royal Rumble. Um, now that we have the carry system involved. It seems like we can use that a lot more. The power bomb, power bomb position, and the just the carrying called, like the carrying a little bit, like the fall away slam, and you can carry them over to the ring or to the ring ropes, 
and just dump them over. Now, Vader just eliminated Baron Corbin. And we're going to see Vader using the carry system quite a bit. He's a big guy. And he can do things with ease. So that is also going to play into different things. Is the weight system that was previously mentioned. Now, if you're the size of Enzo Amore, you are definitely not picking up the Big Show or, or Vader. And possibly not even guys like Big Cass or maybe John Cena, depending on the weight right there. So we've got Alexander Wolf in the ring now new to the series alexander wolf bushwhacker luke goes to pick him up nice reversal it's let's say the same reversal we've seen many times before as he uh, just kicks out of it or reverses out of it and into the ddt bret hart using that that rollout system to rest daniel bryan as we just saw used a suplex to flat out throw um alexander wolf out of the ring now, that could be a finishing maneuver, and I don't recall seeing it before. I could be wrong. Like I said, the Royal Rumble wasn't really something that um, I took part in in 2K17. I was doing my career in a little bit of universe mode. So The couple of things that I've already seen are, are very interesting to me, especially when we can get up into those eight men um, eight men in the ring. Because right now, well... I was going to say we have seven men in the ring and two just eliminated, so now we're down to five. But Vince McMahon right there carries uh, Vader over to the ring, over to the ring ropes, excuse me. And multiple people started attacking him. So it's, and it didn't look funny. You know, uh, Vince was kicking him, Hart, Bret Hart was kicking him, and now Bret Hart using the carry system. So it looks like that's going to be heavily used as we move forward in 2K18. As Vader just slaps his way out of the corner. Um, Vince McMahon at that moment is reversing the carry system on Daniel Bryan. And that is that, that just shows you so it's not always going to work. You hit that button, I believe it's a circle button enough times, you can get out of that carry system and and reverse it into in your favor. So right now, Anvil Neidhart is tossing Daniel Bryan over the top rope, and it, 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 if you're close, you're going over. Now, it's not like, um, it's been a long time since you could like back body drop people over the top rope and out of the ring. But with the carry system and things like that, that is becoming more and more like it could happen. Um, it's kind of a cheap way to eliminate somebody, but you know it is a way to eliminate someone nonetheless. So Vince McMahon wailing on Jim Neidhart there, and vader beating up on daniel bryan as you can see here so this is what baron corbin was doing earlier to roderick strong before uh, luke helped toss him out vader of course with ease is going to toss out daniel bryan so here we see mankind sliding into the ring but vader has got neidhart in the corner and we've seen that before the clothesline to eliminate somebody as long as you have the finisher um, over on the back side, Vince McMahon was trying to push out Michael Hayes uh, from the bottom rope, so that also hasn't changed. And since this is a, an AI versus AI, I don't know if it's the same as far as the button mashing. You just match the button to what comes up on screen, and that person uh, gets eliminated. So coming down the ramp, sliding into the ring, is going to be... Who is that? Noam Dar, it looks like. Now, their theme song is only played for just a second, and everybody enters the same way. Uh, nobody's slow. So if it's Andre the Giant, this dude is hauling down the ramp and sliding in the ring. So everyone enters the same way. Um, not everyone is going to enter at the same style that their character portrays, I guess. Like, Andre's not going to walk slow down the ring, is what I'm saying. And Michael P.S. Hayes looking to eliminate Mankind over there. And he does, but Mankind manages to hold on, and Hayes goes immediately into pushing him with his foot. I don't know if that's just one smooth animation or if that's something that has to be started um, like it has before. So Noam Dar was trying to pull himself up with the ropes, and unfortunately, uh, Big Van Vader there has got a hold of him and is using the carry system. Carry system, a huge part. I love everything about the carry system that I've seen so far 
And now Noam Dar goes over and Vader goes into it. So it looks like it is one solid smooth motion um, to try and eliminate somebody. We now have, uh, let's see, two, four, six, seven guys in the ring. Kurt Hawkins eliminates someone, and he does. I don't think that used a finisher. He looked like he just ran at him and hit him with a clothesline, and over the top he goes. So I'm guessing if your if your uh, stamina is way down or your health is way down, you're going over regardless. Uh, there's not going to be a whole lot to stop you from doing so. So as we just saw, uh, Kurt Hawkins was laying on the ring apron, kind of. Vader comes and drops the elbow. Now, if you listen closely, you would have heard the ring announcer say, Kurt Hawkins has been eliminated. That's our first glitch. He's just going to stand in the ring the rest of the time, literally the rest of the time. Um, even after that, this thing is over, Kurt Hawkins just kind of hangs out in the ring. And he's even a little upset uh, once it's over that he didn't win. Um, the, the, the following glitch is we see stunning Steve Austin in there this time. He's got Eddie Guerrero, who bats him away. Now, in the corner, Kurt's just hanging out. And as you can see, he doesn't really seem to be affected or affecting anyone else. Um, it looked like uh, Bobby Roode was eliminated there by Vader. The other people don't see him as far as the game is concerned. He's eliminated. But um, the he doesn't get in the way. He just moves. And you'll see that as it goes as the video goes on. He's just kind of scooting around the ring and just moving out of the way and such. So that one little glitch is not a big deal. Um, it could kind of throw off a created video if you're doing so. But look at Vader. He's got Vince McMahon up in the power bomb and over the top rope he goes. Well, I mean, and far. Jeez, Vader just chunked him almost to the bottom of the ramp there. As we can see, Kurt Hawkins just kind of in the way. He's just, you know, don't mind me. If I'm going to lose 100 times, I'm going to get my money's worth and get my time in this Royal Rumble. Killian Red slings in. Uh, Killian Dane slides into the ring. Uh, we saw Vader use the ropes to get himself up. So that's back. They drag themselves over to the ropes and use them to climb back up to their feet as Vader is trying to eliminate mankind and he gets them flipped over. So I'm going to guess that the button mashes are the same you press square ps4 anyway you press square triangle circle x get that person to come out um and now if that person is rolling to the ring as we saw dane rolling to the uh, ring side if the person hits you then that 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 negates it uh vader here with stunning steve austin and eddie guerrero trying to eliminate him and he is going to fight out and just bash both of these guys in the face. JBL didn't make it using that that uh, carry on Killian Dane. But in just a second, as we skip forward, Eddie Guerrero has something terrible happen. Now Enzo's in the en Enzo. Enzo has just slid into the ring. And one thing I was curious about was to see if, say, if Va uh, Vader gets a hold of Enzo, can he just eliminate him right away? So. We are gonna gonna see if that happens. I'm not actually. I'm not quite sure if that happens. And Eddie Guerrero is glitching like crazy. JBL is trying to do the corner elimination, as is Enzo Amore, and that Eddie's just hanging out. Now look at Killian Dane. Now that looked like he noticed, or the game noticed that there was a person standing there. He was just kind of laying on him, uh, and then in, and actually pushed him, pushed himself off. Um, as he backed out. So Enzo Amore, Enzo Amore and Eddie Guerrero seem to be locked together a little bit. Um, Enzo's just kind of dancing around uh, on the ring ropes over there. But the further away Eddie gets, as you can see, it kind of pulls him that direction. So it doesn't seem to be affecting the gameplay at all, but it definitely affects the aesthetics. And Killian Dane all over the bottom rope. And here we go Dolph Ziggler slides in we've got two four six seven people in not counting uh, Kurt Hawkins and that's gonna be another glitch another person is gonna come in and that's gonna give you nine people in the ring uh, three of them are glitches Kurt Hawkins Eddie Guerrero Enzo tied up in the ropes over there and we see Vader here using the carry system to take stunning Steve Austin over to the ropes and again 
just grabs him using that finisher and power bomb stunning Steve off the uh, uh, or excuse me over the ring ropes and we get a Royal Rumble replay a couple of different angles of Austin going down now Vader and Killian Dane are going at it Killian Dane stands up from that big forearm and immediately sends Vader over the top rope but Vader immediately comes right back in so I don't know if that is a weight class thing because Killian Dane and Vader I would assume um, are about the same weight class even though Eddie Guerrero just suplexed him um, or if that is a stamina thing or how that's gonna work because Vader just came right back in as we see Eddie eliminates Vader with that Hurricane Rana over the top rope he is still a bit wonky Enzo is still in this thing but he is just as wonky and uh, at this point it kind of creates a little chaos and a little annoy annoyance I would say um, I don't know what's happening here the glitch is taking over look at that I mean he just sat right on the chest of Dolph Ziggler Enzo Amore Amore is over there spazzing out but as you can see as Eddie Guerrero is moving it's pulling Enzo in either direction and the glitch there from Eddie after he's bulldogged by Dolph Ziggler um, but at the same time it seems like it halfway corrected it uh, but I'm not you know it, it kind of corrected the glitch in some way he got loose from Enzo as Enzo is over there just being Enzo you know 205 live cruiserweight champion is acting a fool over there in the corner so sting just pulled eddie and tried to kick him or or uh, do an irish whip on him or something like that eddie bounced back into the opposite corner which freed enzo amore amore i cannot speak freed enzo amore uh from the glitch there in the ring uh, ropes but it also freed eddie so both men released from the glitch as eddie gets eliminated kurt hawkins still in the ring he's just hanging out he's not gonna leave he wants his time to shine now another interesting thing I've noticed Seth Rollins goes up to the top rope Dolph Ziggler follows him and it looks like uh, to go for some sort of superplex but the reversal from Seth Rollins pushes him off and instead of going back all the way up to the top rope he stays on the second rope and does that Phoenix splash I mean he misses but but he does the Phoenix splash um, so he doesn't go all the way back up he just stays there on the second rope as the Miz slides in Seth Rollins has Ziggler on the ropes kicks him to the gut and again Kurt Hawkins just hanging out he's not gonna go we've got two four six guys in the ring seven including Hawkins it's it's insanity so coming in at number 30 I think I think I misspoke um, as the Miz tries to throw out uh, Hideo Itami and he does who slides in TJP so we're gonna get our first look here at TJP in the rumble and in like an actual match uh, we've seen um, entrances and things like that so um, he picks up Seth Rollins with that carry system and immediately goes over to the ropes tries to throw him over and when it doesn't work he drops him across the top rope so the carry system plays a huge part I, I've mentioned it quite a few times in this video uh, but the carry system is going to be huge, and I, I really think that it's going to add to the gameplay, especially to the Rumble, or just in general. How many times have you wanted to just pick up your opponent and chunk him outside the ring? So um, that is going to be super fun to do. Tables, ladders, and all that stuff on the outside of the rings to dump your and Again, opponent. we just saw Triple H, and I believe that was Dolph Ziggler, both roll to their respective parts of the ring and kind of stay out of what's going on in the ring gives them a little time to to uh, um, rest up a little bit and that's very true to life they they will roll out of the way Kurt Hawkins just uh, in the way as as TJP gets blasted by Seth Rollins so Kurt Hawkins just hanging he's gonna get his money's worth Triple H using those ropes to pull himself back up and Sting just to get uh, Dolph Ziggler back up to his feet just drug him out from under the rope so instead of just picking him up like normal he just drags him out from under the rope a little added touch I think is nice and Sting just dumps Ziggler over the top rope military uh, press slam gorilla press slam straight up over the top rope 
Um, and that leaves us with four people, Sting, Miz, Rollins, and TJP. And all four men are trying to get their respective person out and Seth Rollins losing his mind in the center of the ring going right for Sting, but he has the carry system. Instead of the way we've always done the carry system. Now, of course, I mentioned it a few times as the Miz power bombs TJP. You got all the different carries. You can do the over the shoulder. You can pick him up power bomb style, carry him like you're gonna do a fall away slam. All of those things play into the gameplay. I can't stress it enough because it's just, it's such a huge part and a huge new thing that I think everyone's really gonna enjoy. And as Sting tries to eliminate Seth Rollins, um, we see him dump him over the top rope and immediately go for that push. So it does look like it's uh, a, a all single motion, but I don't think I've seen anyone uh, eliminated by that yet. It just looks like it just adds to uh, the elimination attempt as the Miz tries to pull himself up in the corner there. Seth Rollins is backed up against him. Now we know we can do a couple of things from here. AAs, uh, double choke slams, things like that. Um, but those superstars are not equipped with that ability and that is not going to happen. But as Sting did those shoulder blocks, it affected both men, which I thought was a nice touch. It didn't just affect the person in front. And as Seth Rollins drags the Miz out, Sting elbows TJP and gets him into that corner and immediately uses that finisher and sends TJP over the top rope. We're down to three men. We'll carry it out from here. As, this, as Sting goes to pick up the Miz, that, uh, that uh, canceling punch from another superstar is still evident. It's still there, so the move is, is, uh, is negated there. Big knee lift by Sting. And Seth Rollins over there going to let these two guys battle it out. Which, again, kind of more true to life and how everybody even plays the Royal Rumble. Triple threat matches, four, fatal four ways and all that. If somebody's going at it, you just stay out. Just stay out of it. And it'll work itself out. Side effect there by The Miz, who goes right after Rollins. Rollins reverses. And look at Hawkins. He's not being slid or pushed out of the way. He's he's moving. He's walking and stepping backwards and getting out. I don't know what's happening with that glitch. But hopefully it's not something that is uh, continuous or, or ever prevalent in the game. And as we see Miz pick him up, look at that. AA style. He just flat out dumps Seth Rollins over the top rope. And that leaves The Miz and Sting, and Kurt Hawkins, in the ring to battle it out now. Who is going to win? Skull crushing finale from The Miz. Looks fantastic. The I haven't noticed any glitches in the ring posts or the LED board um, on the front. Those ring posts... Continue to flash the uh, the words Royal Rumble. Don't see any cutouts. Don't see any glitching or frame dropping or anything in that. So that's good because there's a lot going on. You got the, the stuff going on in the ring. You got the 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 uh, ring apron. You've got the ring post, the crowd. Everything's good. It's just it's craziness. Sting has the Miz up and flips him over and just dumps him over the top. So Sting is the winner. And look at Kurt Hawkins. He's just furious that he had to be even in this matchup this time, this whole time and not win. So that is going to be it, guys. Thank you again, Tony Pizza Guy, for letting me use this video and point out a few things that I noticed that I thought everybody else would enjoy. So thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're not. And come back soon. We'll see you later.